I'm Fergus Finlay and I'm the CEO of Bernardo's. There are 400 of us who work in Bernardo's and we work in about 40 different projects around Ireland. Generally speaking, I think the easiest way to put it is that we work with children whose lives have been affected by disadvantage. Um, our job uh, is to help them to grow, to develop, to be confident, to get the most from their education. The biggest thing for us is to see a child going into education proud and confident and happy and to see them coming out the other end just as proud and confident and happy. We've always believed that the way to break the cycle of poverty is through education uh, and that's why we invest so much in, in trying to support it, especially from the early years on. We received an extraordinary grant of €60,000 uh, uh, to support our WOW programme. WOW is a reading programme um, and it's a profoundly transformative programme which this grant alone has helped us support um, work with 180 different kids. Um, I'll tell you one of the things that I love about the programme. A couple of years ago uh, I was asked to present certificates at the graduation uh, of a, a group of kids here in this school. Um, and all their parents came, their parents were as proud as punch. These were kids who had really struggled with reading and whose behaviour had been affected. You know, they were bored and distracted in class because they'd fallen behind and so on. And they had made fantastic strides in a very short period of time. But when the ceremony was over, one of the girls came up to me and she said she wanted to whisper something to me. And I bent down and she whispered in my ear, this is the first prize I have ever won in school and I'm so proud of it. Um, and I thought, sure that alone makes it worthwhile. The WOW programme is aimed at children, who, not children who have a kind of an organic reading difficulty. Uh, it's aimed at children whose confidence has been battered by life. Um, there are sometimes kids who've never had a bedtime story read to them, who've never learned to read on their mum's knee the way other kids do. Um, but really it's kids who have social and emotional issues around reading. And the, what the WOW well programme gives them is not just an insight into books and reading and the, those skills, but it gives them a really significant, supportive, strong friendship with an older person uh, that they can rely on. Our volunteers do uh, immense work, but the thing they do most, I think, is they commit themselves to supporting children on a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, they insert themselves into a child's life uh, and they're with them throughout the entire uh, term of the programme. So our kids don't just end up being much more confident about reading, they end up with a friend. Uh, and I know from experience, I know from talking to our volunteers over the years, that these are lifelong friendships, they're friendships that make a big difference to these kids for a long, long time. I think you can definitely see a difference in the children from when they start the programme to when they finish the programme and graduate. The children get a tremendous sense of achievement from completing the programme. To enjoy the interaction with the tutors, it's a very nice mixture of profiles among the tutors and the children gain a vast amount of, of experience from reading and spending time with the tutors. And I think it's important to say that the benefit of it to the volunteers, it's an intergenerational programme, you know, and, and Bernardo's are very um, particular about the people that come on the programme. You know, we're um, assessed with wonderful training given. There's constant support by the project leaders within the school. Um, you know, and the intergenerational part of it for you know people who have retired and um, there's a social element to it as well you know we work as a team we have outings um, and, and it generally is good but I know it is all about the children but the children certainly benefit in confidence and in their reading ability which is what it's all about. Well, I'll tell you why private funding makes a difference. Um, the, the bottom line is that a lot of our work is supported by the state. We work with children who are known to social services, who are often referred to us by social services, uh, and the state helps us financially to do that work. And you can provide a decent service uh, with that support. You won't change anyone's life with that support. With the kind of support we get from philanthropy and particularly the kind of grants we've been talking about from the Community Foundation, we can invest in extra staff ratios, we can invest in extra supervision, we can invest in
planning and uh, preparation to a much greater extent than it would be possible to do otherwise. We can also invest in innovation and research and evaluation so that we can put our hands on our hearts and say the interventions we're offering, the support we're offering to, to these children and their families is, is the best that you can get. It is uh, sourced from around the world, it's evaluated rigorously, uh, our staff get a huge amount of, of training uh, and personal support themselves. None of that is possible uh, without the extra kick you get uh, from philanthropic support. Um, and I often wish that people would know that you're moving from good to great uh, with that kind of investment, that you're moving from you know, a supportive environment to a transformative environment with that kind of investment. Uh, that's the importance of philanthropy, because we can't do it on our own. The state can't do it on its own, but that mix of state and philanthropic investment, and I hope wise and decent management of, of the support we get, uh, is what delivers the goods.